everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, we are going to craft my best and latest Nagakiba build, an incredibly powerful setup that can easily outperform the destructive rivers of blood. This character is inspired by the Sohei warriors, Buddhist monks who were well prepared for combat with their Naginaras and Tachis. Elden Ring provides everything we need to create a fantastic build around this idea, and with the new DLC items, we will increase its performance tremendously. The Cross Naginara is a spirit that has a very similar design to the original weapons of these warriors, with the cross below the blade being the only difference. The Nagakiba as an extra long katana is perfect to accomplish the concept of the Tachi. Both weapons deal physical slash and pierce damage, which will allow us to completely destroy every type of enemy quickly and with zero struggles. Normally, I would recommend using Blood Flame Blade with these weapons, but it turns out that after multiple hours of testing, I realized it is better to just use the Blood Affinity. With Blood Flame Blade, we have the benefit of fire damage and a passive bleed buildup. However, the fire damage is not that significant, and the bleed buildup is based on time, which means that the bleed proc will not occur immediately. The cool part about using this buff is that it stacks with the passive bleed buildup of these weapons. However, if you do some basic math, you will notice that it is simply better to use a basic dexterity and arcane bleed build to proc the bleed faster and more consistently. Even though we will not be able to cut our weapon with any element using the blood affinity, the final damage we will deal will be dramatically higher. This setup is so powerful that we will not need to use the Rakshasa's armor set or the white mask to completely delete our targets, meaning you still have a way to make your character even more powerful if you wish to do so. First of all, I'm going to show you the build, and then we will beat every major boss of the DLC without taking a single hit. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. We are going to be using the Nagakiba on plus 25 with the double slash Ash of War on the Bleed Affinity, the Cross Naginata on plus 25 with the Repeating Trust Ash of War on the Bleed Affinity as well, and we need any seal we have available to cast our main buffs. We can also use any weapon with the Raptor Optimist Ash of War to be able to easily dodge the Radan's light explosion attack. And if you wish, you can use any weapon with seppuku to trigger the bleed buffs before each fight. But it is completely optional. We are going to be using the white red armor set with the Okina mask. I chose this armor set because it's the one that gets closer to the Sohei warrior look. If you want to deal the max damage with your build, you have to use the Rakshasa's armor set with the white mask that will increase your damage by a total of 16%. The best talismans we can use for this build are the Lord of Blood's Exultation, the Millicent's Prosthesis, the Roaring Winds or Insignia, and the Shard of Alexander. If you're missing one of these talismans, the two-handed sword talisman is a great option as well. In our flask of wondrous physics, we are going to use the blood sucking crack tear and the thorny crack tear. If you don't want to use the blood sucking crack tear, a great idea is to use the stone barb crack tear. This way, you are going to easily break the stance of your targets, allowing you to use the skills of your weapons with a higher frequency. With this build, we are going to deal only physical damage. That's why the best body buff we can use is blood ball aromatic. But if you don't like crafting, feel free to use flame grant me strength. And this weapon devours stamina, so be sure to craft some pickle turtle legs to boost your stamina regeneration speed. In order to obtain the max performance of our weapons and to have an optimal build, we are going to use 50 on vigor, 19 on mind, 40 on endurance, 75 on dexterity, 25 on fate, and 45 on arcane. Golden Vow and Flame Grand Mist Strength are going to be our main buffs. And if you want to proc bleed faster on your targets, feel free to use the Swarm of Flies. It is a very useful incantation and it is quite easy to use. And as you can see, I have my Scattery Blessing on the level 20, and if you want to deal the max amount of damage possible to the strong DLC bosses, be sure to have it on the level 20 as well. Now I'm going to show you how to buff your character with this build. First you have to use your Flask of Wondrous Physic and then you have to cast Golden Vow. Immediately after that you have to use your Pickle Torten Leg, which is completely optional of course. Then you have to use your Body Buff. In this case I will use Blood Boy Aromatic but you can use Flame Grand Me Strength perfectly fine. Now refill your HP, your FP and if you want you can use Seppuku to trigger the Bleed Buffs before the fight but this last step is completely optional. And with that you are more and ready to go. Now that we have completed and optimized or built, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? Hey hero. It's a huge hit. Missing. Amazing. Let's go. Amazing. Amazing, amazing damage. <laughs> it's been enough already. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay. okay let's do this, baby. Cross Naginata for the win. Cross Naginata for the win, baby. Come on. It should be all right, guys. It is all good. It is all amazing. Oh my god, it is amazing. Come on. Amazing. Come on. Come on. Give it to me. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Come on. Ah, let's go, baby. Come on. Amazing. Let's go, baby. Let's go crazy on this guy. Okay. Amazing. Come on. Let's go! <laughs> oh, baby! I thought I was healing, bro. Come on. Wow! <laughs> Maybe for sure, oh, the guy appeared suddenly, bro. He always do the same thing. This is nice. Take that one, bad boy. Take that one, bad boy. Oh, jump attack. Oh, no. I'm, I missed that one, guys. Oh, you're going down. I knew it. Let's go. Come on. Come on, baby. Goodbye, baby. Come on. <laughs> First try. <laughs> okay, crazy. Come on. Amazing. Come on. Amazing, baby. Let's go.